Hello everyone. I pray that things are going very well for you. If you plan on getting married, I know you may want the prettiest woman or the most handsome guy. You may want a person who has a good amount of resources. You may want someone that is popular or whatever else like that. If you serve God, make sure you get with a person who does the same. So if you are really into Jesus Christ, make sure you are, make sure you get with a person who serves Jesus Christ as well. And you may think that is something that is unnecessary. You may think to yourself that, you know, somehow, the interest you have for the person, like everything will place itself together. I guess in some cases that may be true, I guess. But I believe in many cases it may not be that way. If you are truly trying to live for God, going by his rules and if someone doesn't want to go by it let's say like your fiance wife husband before you even get to wife and husband let's say your fiance i think so many people say they are christian but are not I believe there are gay uh, leaders of some churches. And I believe some of them believe they are Christian. So you can't really go by a person's word in these times. You have to go by the way they behave. And even then, you don't really know. Because a person can mess up so many times, but they may have a heart to do what is right, but they just may be messing up so much. So you can't really judge that in some cases. So... You really need discernment. And even with that, you may need a second opinion, third opinion, fourth opinion, or probably more. I believe what the enemy tries to do, if you have your heart locked into God, like, you know you want to serve God and nothing is really going to change that. I believe the enemy can attack you through a person that you want to be with. Do you understand what I am saying to you? I believe the enemy will attack through almost any avenue in order to reach you. Like, it kind of makes me think of Job. When all those bad things happened to Job, I believe what the enemy did is get his wife to try to get Job to do something very foolish. I believe she said to Job, 
something like, why don't you just curse God and die? Now, that would have been a very unwise thing to do for Job. If he were to do something like that, but I believe the enemy was working through his wife to give him that unwise advice. And it is a very good thing Job didn't take that advice. You may be very young. You know, you may, you know, date based upon looks, based upon prestige, based upon popularity, based upon fragile things. You know, um, some people may look very lowly on arranged marriages, but I think in many cases, I think some of them may be bad, you know, because of some reasons, but in some cases, it may be good to where one family speaks with another family. Let's say two Christian families speak together. All the family members speak, the other family members speak and make a decision. You know, if I believe if arranged marriages was like that, it is probably the best way to go because I believe many people in this day of age don't know really what they are looking for. Probably don't know what, um, probably don't really know what they want. Probably too immature to choose. I think that's one of the reasons why the divorce rate is very high in America and probably and some other areas as well. You should not take marriage very lightly. Just because you like someone doesn't mean you should marry them. Just because you want kids doesn't mean you should get married. Not saying that you should have kids without being married. I'm not saying that. But if the primary cause of you getting married is to have kids and you just jump into a marriage to do that I don't think that is too wise although I believe in the book I'm not sure really sure somewhere in the Bible I believe Paul spoke about or wrote about Paul was talking about uh, if you can't wait to have sex to get married and I understand what he means by that but um, you really have to be careful in who you married because you can be very on fire for Christ. He may be your primary, I guess I can say, source. And if your spouse, woman or man, doesn't have... I guess, a similar drive to you to serve God, that man or woman may be a hindrance to you. May be a hindrance to you. So, what I am trying to say, care less about the looks. Care less about the popularity care less about the prestige care more about the character i am trying to tell you i believe many people really dress up the outward to distract you from the inward for instance let me look really handsome real pretty let me let this person poke out the breast, poke out their butt, or show their car, show their house, show their money, so that I believe those can be a distraction 
So you can see those things, but not really focus on their character. What good is a car if the man is mistreating you so much? What good it is a woman's body if she is causing havoc at the home? Distractions. You really need to look at the character. Don't look at the man's Rolex. Don't look at their shiny car and how big the house is and you may be imagining, well, if I was with this man, my life will be easier because this man can take care of me. That man can be like a very bad man that will probably abuse you often. But you are just thinking about the financial part of it, which is very unwise. If you are a man, just don't look at the woman's body. You know, she's 21, she's 22. You know, she looks so fresh and blah, 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 blah. And no, she can probably be one of the worst women in the world. But you are looking at her exterior. That is the thing about it. I think many of us make mistakes because... We're not really looking at the character. And the character is like the main and to me, to me, the most important part. I don't care about a person being rich. I don't care about a person having so many things. What I am concerned about, how are you and I going to interact? How will things be between us? right because you can only enjoy yourself with a woman's body for so long you can enjoy yourself with the man's money for so long what's really going to be the deal breaker i believe is the person's character that is very important there. I remember I was speaking to a young woman some time ago. And I believe she told me, I may not remember everything perfectly. Oh, you know, I want a man with blue eyes and, and blonde hair and and he had to have this and that. And I'm thinking, <laughs> what about the character? I believe she was naming so many exterior things and not really anything about the character. I think this is one of the reasons why divorce is so big. Like, hey, you know, I thought that, you know, my interest in you and your interest in me will make things work. No. What if you are with an immature person? Right? But it really depends if that immature person really has a heart to do what is right. Let me stop here and may God bless us.